Welcome back to my channel, Thomas Ashley, and welcome back to my series, Candid with Cancer. This is episode 16 today, and I can't believe we're already here. We're really getting into the nitty gritty bit now of my mental health, something that can apply to everyone, no matter what you've been through, because it is all relative to who you are, not comparing to me or anyone else. This is where I really delve deep, where I actually start figuring out what's going on inside my own head, what's been happening, what I'm dealing with depression, anxiety, PTSD, survivor's guilt, all these different things. And you'll slowly but surely see in this how I start getting help, how I start to overcome it at the very beginning. Hopefully you can learn something from it, you can apply yourself to it if you need to, or you can just take what you need from it. Without further ado, let's get straight into Candid with Cancer. Candid with Cancer 16, life after cancer. Everything was falling apart extremely quickly just like before, but without admitting it. And at this point, I sounded like a broken record because I knew it was happening. I knew, I just didn't want to admit it. I thought if I just ignored it, I wouldn't have to go through it again. I thought at least. But it was different this time. This was the final straw. This was the concoction I needed to face it once and for all. These were the final catalysts of pain, experience and maturity I needed to sit down and tell myself, get help. The trifecta I needed. I knew I couldn't carry on living like this and I'd finally realised this. I had had enough of excuses and now I wanted reasons. It was time to take that leap of faith. It was time to admit that what was wrong. It was time I took responsibility for myself, take the accountability I needed to grow, to prioritise myself so I could be me, Tom. The Tom I knew I truly was. I started the process of getting help because I needed to. I needed to come to terms with what I had been through. I never sat down in the last eight years and just tried to understand what I had been through until this point. I never understood the severity of it. For me, it was just my normal. I hadn't wanted to because I didn't want to relive the pain, trauma and suffering. But it was about time I did. I wanted to stop hurting myself and to stop hurting others. It wasn't fair on anyone. It never was, but now I knew I could do something about it. I started by making voice notes as well as writing things down, similar to my notes throughout the years. Reading past notes and reliving my diagnosis allowed me to know what I was feeling. And that the demons had been consistent from day one. There was an underlying factor that resonated in all of them. And the older I got, the more questions I needed answering about everything. My first point of call was admitting it, not just to myself, but to those close to me. And this was hard. This was tough. But when you're so vulnerable already, something takes over. It's easier to be vulnerable it's easier to say, I'm not too sure why, it just comes out. Before there is a huge sense of embarrassment, but after, a sense of relief. And you soon learn that those who truly love and support you will stand by your side through thick and thin. My next step was reaching out to charities for help. It was time to get the proper help I needed. Someone who could give me a different perspective on it all. Someone who could take me out from being narrow-minded and see the bigger picture. Someone who could allow me to vent, to cry, to break down, to get angry, to laugh. Someone in which I could let all my emotions out and they wouldn't judge me, but help me understand it all. Someone with the help of myself could allow me to change the way I saw everything. 
the way I think, my outlook on it all, as a positive, a change, a positive one. I started counselling, which had been hard, but it wasn't as easy as just getting started. It had already taken me years to get to this point, but now I had to find a counsellor, a therapist. But I was adamant there was just someone I could talk to, because saying I needed therapy felt like I was giving in. Giving up. Allowing what I had been through to shape who I was, rather than it making me stronger. It took weeks of reaching out to different charities, cancer charities, mental health charities, the NHS, until I found a counsellor. It was through Macmillan Cancer Charity that I found my therapist, Bill. One thing that had put me off ever talking about any of it was having to relive everything and actually face it instead of running. I had a mental block in my head which always said, you will never understand, so why would I tell you? And yes, they will never understand, as we are all so unique. But they can make sense of it. Something that took me years to come to terms with. There is a lot to unpack, and reasoning behind some of it, trying to find the catalyst to the reaction, but that isn't always possible. There isn't always a catalyst to a reaction. Just because something happens doesn't mean you'll know why it happens. And that was something I never understood. I always thought there had to be a reason. I needed a reason. But maturing and growing was realising that you can only control what you can control. There isn't always an answer. My next however many blogs will be me explaining my mental health. Not just running. I delve deep in its rawest form, leaving no stone unturned. From my anxiety to depression, my survivor's guilt of being alive, questioning why I am alive when others have passed. It covers everything and more. It's a first for me, as I've never been able to share this before. But I'm sharing it in hope that if just one person finds solace in my words, to know that they are not alone, and it can give them that little bit of hope not to give up, then this blog has served its purpose. And that's the end of Candid with Cancer 16. If you ever need help, if you ever feel like giving up, if you ever feel like you're alone, just know you are not alone. There's people out there, there's charities out there. I'm out there. If you ever want to reach out to me, if you ever need help, just send me a message on YouTube, Instagram or whichever way you want to send me a message and I'll be more than happy to help because you are not alone. And if you just want to carry on watching these and however many next episodes could help you or there's something in there, watch them, take what you need from them, share them with friends or family or whoever needs them. I also have a series on my morals and values which might help you a lot after reading this, listening to this, it could be something that leads you to a place where you understand my mental health and then how I came out through it the other side. Whatever you may need, just to know you are not alone. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.